Welcome to Movie SOS with me, Amanka, from Casanova Casting Couch. And we are talking to the producers of WAPS. How Introduce you yourself. I'm Ted Doko. I play Vinny the Bat, also writer, director, producer, uh, all around everything guy. Joshua Winch. Right here, actor Joey Sack of Marbles, and uh, you know, did anything else Tech asked me to after the acting part. Up to a point. Sounds pretty sexual. So, <laughs> tell me what this movie's about. <laughs> it's about a lot of gay sex going on in this one. I'm joking, that's only the end. <laughs> that's uh, only the end. It's only the end, and I'm not joking. Uh, it's basically, it's um. It's a mockumentary, it's a comedy mockumentary, it's a social satire where we played around with uh, stereotypes, bigotry, uh, people's stupid preconceived notions of how everybody else is uh, to the point where you know we have a white of the white guys playing a Middle Eastern, DL is playing four different black roles. Uh, because they all look the same, so we went around the whole on PC, make fun of everybody and everything, just to show people how stupid you really look if you think that all Italians are mafia or all black people are this or all Mexicans don't have insurance. So we just went around the whole, you're stupid if you think this. Yeah, basically every character in there is a racial stereotype and, um, you know, that makes me want to digress a second because when Ted was talking about how everybody's this or that and there's different stereotypes, he was uh, getting help casting the movie by a black guy who um, actually when Tech asked who looked Italian, the guy handed him an entire stack of, of photos. He's like, these are the headshots from all the white actors and Tech's like, but I... I need to cast the WAPs. I need guys that look Italian. Mm -hmm. And he goes, they all look alike to me. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, uh, it'd be just like trying to cast the role of Tupac in his movie and getting yeah, the, the Will Smith's cousin from Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. You, you got to cast it right. And yeah. We had almost 95% uh, of the cast backed out on me the day before we started shooting and this is before I even met Josh I'm just like looking and I pull up his thing I'm like why didn't you show me him before I didn't think he looked Italian yes, please. I'm just like okay and um, so I call him up hey man I can't pay you but it's a really funny script okay I'll do it and uh, so I got him called up my friend Jim George who is nowhere near Italian to play Louis Lugnuts and so he did that. Uh, Vince Savarisi also picked up a couple roles because Jim couldn't show up a couple days, but which actually helped out with the whole script, which led to you know towards the ending, and it all played on that Donnie Brasco, Benny Blanco, uh, mafia genre there. So you know, we had some happy mistakes, which led to good results. So what made you come up with this? Uh, basically, got tired of everybody. Thinking because I was in the restaurant business, I was in a mob or I'm mobbed up, drug dealer, you name it. I run prostitution rackets. Uh, that one's true. That's different. <laughs> anyway, shut up. So then, me, me and a friend of mine, Eric, we're in my kitchen and we're just talking about how funny it would be if we actually had a magazine devoted to WAPs and, you know, just criminals and gangsters and morons and like that. and. So I came up with a little fake magazine cover called WAP Weekly. Uh, headlines like how to break kneecaps without breaking sweat, uh, 50,000 good reasons why New Jersey smells. You know, I never wrote articles, it was just funny pieces. <laughs> Did about, I was only going to do about 10 of them, ended up doing 120. Uh, <clears throat> and then uh, another friend of mine came by and was like, hey man, you already got the gag set up, let's make this a TV show. So I started writing the script, and I was like, yeah, it'd probably be easier if we just do a full-length feature, you know, and then, you know, then turn it to the TV show, and then when I was talking to some cop friends of mine, I was telling them about the idea, and I was like, yeah, it's going to be a mockumentary, we're going to shoot it like cops, and they're like, so what are you going to call it? I'm like, I don't know, WAPS. And so that's how this came about. And so we just shot it, one camera, Pretty much one take each scene, a very long take. Some stuff we did cuss, like flashback scenes, we did some cuss, but basically it was 
action, go through the whole scene. If there was a mistake, there was a mistake. We just kept on going with it. We went for the whole reality TV aspect and also making fun of it at the same time because reality TV is getting so stupid that following around gangsters is going to be the last thing they can actually film. So here's the question. It's already, it's a full-length feature, yes. right? Mm -hmm. So where could somebody find it? Uh, Watchthemovie.com. Watchthemovie.com. And it's only $7 plus shipping or $5 plus shipping or whatever the hell you want to pay me plus shipping. I don't care. I'll take the <laughs> order, pay for the shipping. I don't care. It's a funny movie. Um, but for some reason, film festivals don't want to touch it. It's been rejected left and right. But it's, it's so selection for something. What's that's not even a real film festival. <laughs> <laughs> it it is a real it. film festival, but it's not a large. It's a it's a local film festival. Give but yourself I, credit. It, it was a filler. He thought people would have come watch it. It got in because it they needed a time slot filled. And it was a local film festival, so they were using local talent and local projects. And when, when, he, when he says that, I mean, this is this is not the kind of thing that you're going to see at Sundance. Sundance one sees beautiful, uplifting yeah. things with these wonderful. Uh, it's if you want to laugh, sure, don't take yourself seriously. Sundance takes themselves seriously. Too seriously. Cannes takes themselves seriously. Way too serious. This film right here takes nothing seriously. As you can see, racial profiling made easy. It, and the black guy. <laughs> and the black guy is always getting blamed. Even though he's the nicest looking guy in the bunch. <laughs> obvious criminals, obvious businessman, but he's getting the rap. And so we, we run around with the whole, the whole genre. Okay, mm -hmm. so if you want to laugh your ass off and actually really laugh your ass off, because you know people say LMAO and they're really not laughing, but if you actually want to laugh your ass off, you need to go to www.wapsthemovie.com and you spell WAPS, W-O-P-S, sometimes people don't know how to spell, yeah, WAPS the movie. <laughs> www.wapsthemovie.com. I want to thank y'all for talking to me and I want to thank our sponsors. And that is Sprint and Samsung's the Galaxy Note 2. So if you like the good quality that this just came out in, then go get you a Note 2. And a copy of Watch the Movie. Yes, and a copy of Watch the Movie. One more time. Website. Watch the movie.com. <laughs>